Hello folks, it's Sean Mize here, and in this video I'm going to show you the software and I'm going to demonstrate using the software that I use to create a video page where people can view the video with the video player on it, all of that, and then show you uh, how I set the timer so that the buy button does not appear until I'm ready for people to buy in the video. So I, I use simple software to make that happen and then I'm going to I'll show you where that software is where you can get that software and then I'll, I'll demonstrate me creating a live page on a brand new website it's the video sales letter toolbox website you'll see it it doesn't have anything on it right now and you're gonna see that in the next still whatever five to ten minutes I'm gonna create the page the video will be playing and you'll be able to see that it's done. So the first place we're going to go is Optimize Press. And this is the software that I personally use. And there's two key elements. Now there's a whole bunch of features in it. But the key element that I use this for is being able to add video to the page in literally, like they say, in seconds. And it, it, uh, it's a full player built in and everything. I don't have to do any work. I, you know, folks, you may not believe this, but I'm not especially technically handy. So I, I use things like this that do all the work for me for a lot of what I do. You know, obviously there's other things that I do that, that I, I didn't know there was software maybe at the beginning. I learned how to do it the hard way. I would still know how to do it. It takes me a few seconds to do something. I know it, so I use it, but a lot of times I use software that automates things. And then the, the second thing that I really, really, really like and I don't see it as a bullet point here, but that I can, that their software will allow me to program in the payment button so that it doesn't show up until, say, 30 minutes in or 25 minutes in or whatever into the video, which is exciting for me. So I'm going to show you in a live WordPress environment. All, the only thing I've already done is. I've obviously registered a domain name and I've created FTP access for me and you should know how to do all of those things. I've uploaded WordPress. I have uploaded Optimize Press. There's no sense in you having to sit here and wait while my computer uploads. So it's all there, but that's it. All I've done is put WordPress in and put the theme in, which is Optimize Press. Okay. So in fact, if we come here, we go to the pages, you'll see that there are no pages. The only page is the initial sample page. That's the only page that's there. And in fact, if we look at the website, we will see that it just hits the getting started guide. There's no pages that are set up for this website at this point. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a page. So I'm going to hit Add New, Create a Page. Now there's two things that are necessary. Now this is a, a sales page. So I'm going to scroll down to the sales page options. Now, by the way, this is just designed to demonstrate this to you. It's not a full tutorial on using Optimize Press. Optimize Press contains full tutorials. If I remember correctly, I learned how to do this from Optimize Press using their videos. So they show you how to do this. So I'm not, I'm not going to repeat all of that. What I am going to do is go down to Headline Options. I'm going to click Show Options. And it tells me that the colors of my headline, etc., etc. Now this is going to be my headline. I'm going to type a headline here. And this is going to be Discover the Secret to Creating Video sales letters from scratch in just hours watch this video now we're gonna have a subheadline and I'm going to call that watch this video for to discover how easy it is to get your own video sales letter up and selling fast. Okay. 
time. So that's it. Then we go down here to video options. We're gonna, it says activate video. Now, what I've done is I've uploaded the video that's gonna play right on my website. I've already uploaded that. I'm gonna put that here where it says hosted video URL. Why hosted? Because I'm hosting it. So that's where it's, it's hosted. And if we were using, um, let's see, and uh, with, again, without giving, without making this a teaching thing, my guess is if you were to just put one up here um, from YouTube or something, you'd put it there. But you, you wouldn't want to make this coming from YouTube. You really want it to be hosted on your website, or you can use Amazon S3, something uh, like that. Now, So then, of course, this would be use YouTube, Vimeo, Vidal. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of going in a different path than I really shouldn't be. I, I've gotten distracted here. Really, this is all you really need is the hosted video URL because you're going to put, put that, uh, you, you're going to put that, that recording on your website or using Amazon S3. And I put it on, I use them on my website because I buy a, a lot of traffic from my web host, much more than I ever use. And so I, I don't need Amazon. If you don't have your own server, then you may you may need Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to check autoplay video. Notice I'm not going to show the video player controller. I'm not going to show a download link. And there's not going to be any download link or anything like that. And Optimize Press is going to do everything for me. It's going to make it, it make everything work for me. Okay, now Call to action. Notice how simple that was. That's all I did. I talked a lot, but all I've done is click activate button, put my hosted URL right here, and click autoplay video. Now, I could have changed the width and the height and things like that if I wanted to. I could have turned on the video player control bar, but I didn't. I choose not to. And, and that's just a choice, folks. You know, I think that uh, some people say, hey, we convert better if people can pause it. Um... I prefer that it's not paused and it's a short video. Let people go all the way through. If it's serious, it's important to you, watch it. If it's not, then don't. And that's that's something that you can do whatever you want with. If, if you'd rather give them the option of kind of being able to listen to it again, and it, even something you can split test is you can create multiple pages and split test them against each other. Now, we're going to have call to action, delayed button. So activate call to action, delayed button. Now, what I'm going to do is go back over here, and this is my payment link. And you get that from wherever you create your payment buttons. That's your merchant account, PayPal, wherever you, you know, your shopping cart, whatever. It's where you'll get your payment button. It says call to action button. What kind of button do we want? So I want an add to cart button. And I'm going to include credit card icons and and PayPal. Now you could make you know you know whatever you want. You, you all different options here. This is the one that I use. We're going to click activate delayed button. Now the button time delay is in seconds. So it's designed enter the delay time for the button in seconds. So on my video, the time that and I'll show you on the video here. This is kind of the actual video. This occurs right here at 27 minutes and about 20 seconds. If you multiply that by 60 seconds, you get 1,640 seconds. So I'm going to put 1,640 right here. And so at 1,640 seconds after the page opens, the payment button will come up. This is the act call to action URL. That's where I want people to go when they click the button. I want them to go here so that they'll be able to buy. And then I'm going to click uh, I'm going to put this as show button under video. So it'll show right under the video. So another option that you have is in addition to just having the button there. And I may change this over time. I may do some split tests. But for right now, just getting it up nice and simple. And that what I wanted to show you folks was nice and simple. 
then I just want that button to show up right underneath the video. Now, what I could have done is put some content in. I could, you know, I could talk about it a little bit. I could review the bullet points if I wanted. Here, I'm just putting the, the payment button. And I am going to click open the link in the new window so that uh, when people click that payment button, the video kind of stays going. Now, you wouldn't have to do that. You could not check it. And then when they click the payment button, the video will go away. Now, I don't like that because maybe they haven't fully decided they want to buy it yet and they still need to be listening to it. Folks, this is it right here. So this is going to be my page. Now, we, we need to title the page. And this is going to be Discover the Secret to Creating Your Own video sales letter fast. Okay, that's going to be the name of the page. And I think I've just, okay, so we're going to hit uh, publish. Okay, and then I've obviously made a mistake. It's a brand new website, so I kind of forgot to change the permalinks. And I, I want this so that the, uh, the pages will show up it, using a custom structure and I don't know this off the top of my head so I'm gonna kinda come in here and, and just pull the code for this and there's a number of tags what I like to have is a category tag and then the post name tag I'm not going to teach you how to do this in here. This isn't a WordPress instructional video. If you use WordPress, you should learn how to do this. And you'll see how it's full instructions right here on how to do it. It's right there on that page. And so what I'm going to do is click Change Permalinks again. I'm going to copy that in. And then post name okay. and you'll see the changes here when I save the changes we'll go back to the page and I believe if I hit update then it's going to change it should change it right here so the, the page will no longer be named so now the page is named the title and that's what I want so let's view the page and it says, discover the secret to creating video sales letters from scratch and just watch this video to discover how easy. The video is going to autoplay just like we asked it to. And the only thing that you're not going to get to see right now is you're not going to see you're about the to payment button. Let's see, amazing... pause. You're not going to get to see the payment button come up unless you watch it. We're not going to sit here for 27 minutes just so that we can see it come up. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my dashboard, and if I remember correctly, okay, the one thing I need to do, so that's the page. What I want is for it to also show up on the main domain. So that's the page, and uh, folks, again, I'm not that technologically literate, and so I don't remember where we do this. Let's put the copywriter footer text in there. So, do that and then just save those changes. And uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of, of uh, video time here on this. I think in uh, settings, general, I just want to make one change. If we kind of don't get to it, then, uh, then that's okay. Okay, let's change the uh, title, the tagline. I'm telling you, this is just, I created it brand new so that you'd be able to see that um, nothing had been uploaded on here yet, so I haven't changed the settings to where um, I usually like them. So here, let's go into Themes, and I'm going to click Customize. And what I'm looking here for is for the static front page. This is the front page that's showing. I want to change it to a static page, and I want it to be this page, which is the Discover Your Secret page. Okay, so if we save and publish, we close the customize. And again, this is not instructional video for WordPress. Optimized Press has all the videos, and WordPress, of course, teaches you how to do all of this. I just wanted you to see 
how fast and easy it is to get this up. Let's visit the site. And the site now has the video playing. Okay, now, honestly, what I'll probably do long run is I will will change this front page You're about to, to being a squeeze page and a squeeze page so that someone will have to opt in to be able to watch this video. Now, to do that, we'd create a page just like the pages we've been doing, except, and again, if you're using Optimize Press, you simply use their tutorials to learn how to do it, but you'll notice that instead of making this a sales page, a launch page and sales page, and I used all the settings down there, I could use these settings up here, and it would create a squeeze page, and it would be, it'd be a good-looking squeeze page. Okay, so that sort of officially ends this, and uh, I'm going to pull up the site again just so we can kind of see this is what we've created in I don't know what 10 minutes and probably three quarters of that time I've been talking if I'd have done this on my own without talking you through it this is maybe a two minute process to have this up and running okay so that's it that's the demonstration um, of how quickly and easily you're able to get the uh, your video playing so that people can purchase it